Hey everyone, get ready to see the screen a lot because we'll be coming back here. <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> that freaking me out for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> click, just click. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, stop. Okay. All right. <clears throat> See, we have a lot of things we can talk about. So let's start from the top. Tell us about Baba Yaga. There are many legends about that ogress. We gypsies avoid her when we can. She is dangerous to enemies, and she takes offense easily. Yeah, just ask Punny Bones. Well, I think everyone takes offense at Punny Bones. That's true. She has her hut to the south. There is some sort of magic hiding the pathway there. Her only weakness is her love of food. Be careful if you to need to approach her. Yeah, she's not kidding. Both times now, we've been uh, saved from being eaten by Baba Yaga by bringing her other food to eat, so... All right, let's see. Um, oh, we can ask about helping Rusalka. Oh, that'll be interesting. So you've been told like three times to ask them. The Rusalka of the lake near here has been dead for many years. You cannot bring her back to life, but you can free her spirit. Oh, my. Our legends tell of the way to free the spirit of the one who was murdered. First, she must know who she was and remember how she died. Hmm. That'll be tricky, because we don't know how she died, do we? An, a lover untrue. Yeah, something about a lover untrue, yeah. Then you must take the hair of the dead woman and weave it into a broom. Beat the broom three times upon the murderer's grave, and he will come forth. Hmm, okay. This act can be very dangerous. If the ghost of the murderer rises, it will attack you. You must be ready to destroy it. Good thing we're a paladin. The last thing you must do is to give the spirit that which she truly desires. Then at last her spirit will be freed and she will rest. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's tell us about uh, yourself, fortune teller. I have been gifted by the true sight and foreknowledge. These are gifts with knife edges. I have seen my own death, and know my true love's death the day I met him. Or knew, knew the true love's death, okay. Still, it is useful. I will read your fortune in the cards if you wish. You have only to cross my palm with silver, so much for the legend about werewolves, or at least a coin of value. Yes, indeed, because werewolves are, uh... Silver is anathema to werewolves, so obviously they're not werewolves because... But they are wolves, just not werewolves. I thought they were werewolves. No, well, they're, they're wolves, but not werewolves. But I warn you, no future is fixed. What the cards show you of the future can happen, but only if you take the actions to create this future. And it is not easy to determine what those actions are. Such is life. Well, I guess basic logic tells you that if you take steps to bring about a certain future, then yeah, that future will happen. That's not quite the same as predictions coming true. That's that's kind of the definition of a self-fulfilling prophecy of people doing things to try to fulfill a... Uh, never mind. <laughs> never mind, I'm not going to analyze it at that level. Let's ask her about the valley, because the valley is interesting. This valley has always been a... What's that, a nexus? Nexus, yes. Oh, I don't know what that is. A nexus of power. Magic is strong here. My people for generations came here to renew and strengthen their ties to the, the, the mystical ways. A nexus is basically a... Um, well, you can look it up in the... You folks can look it up in the dictionary. Basically, a nexus is a place where things come together. Like, kind of a place where... Um, like in this case, it's a nexus of power, so things mm. sort of gather in the valley to, to um, kind of have this synergy or whatever. Anyway, let's proceed. We are not the only ones drawn by this power. The magician Irana created a magical refuge here. Others, more dark, were drawn here as well. Be wary and watchful at all times here. The magic of this land has become twisted. And there are many dangers around you. 
Okay. Oh, and we have another conversation subtree here. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy, let's start off with magic. There are many places and things of magic around here. I am certain you will come across them in your travels. Well, that was very descriptive. Thanks a lot. Tell us about uh, Irana, because we've heard so much about Irana since the first game. Irana was a powerful magician who came from this area. There is a garden in the forest which she created. It is a place of safety for all who visit there. It is said that her final resting place is near here as well. Her staff stands in the town and protects those within the walls from outside harm. Okay, and what's this about dark ones? There are some things about which even I dare not speak. Even thinking about them attracts them. Let us hope that you never need to know of such matters. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we uh, unfortunately, this game is called The Shadows of Darkness. We, so. pr we probably will have to think about <laughs> that before the uh, before the game is over. But all right, tell us about uh, tell us about werewolves, since you've been accused of being them. Creatures of the night, shapeshifters, skin changers. We are man or beast by our own will. To run on four legs, to howl at the moon, to chase the terrified prey through the hills. That is what it is to be truly alive. See, they are werewolves. Mm -mm. Oh, did... no. Oh. The legend of the werewolf is but a folk tale. We change our shape when we choose, not because the moon is in some phase. We are the beast with a man... With a mind of a man, and a man with the mind of a beast. See, they're shape changers, so they can turn into wolves and back into human form, but they're not really, like, they don't change based on the moon. They're not werewolves, and they don't eat people or things like that. They're just... All right, I stand corrected. They're just shapeshifters. It is not normally our way to speak so freely to outsiders. Why do I say so much to you? Because you need to know we are not your enemies. We have too many questions that cannot be answered, and your ignorance may be your doom. Okay. There is much to you. No, oh, there is much to you. Your actions to come will affect us all. Do not doubt it. Therefore, I will speak honestly and openly on what I can. I can see by your eyes that our future is linked to you. For weal or woe. Bit of a archaic turn of phrase there, I think. All right, tell us about uh, gypsies. Ah, oh, we are the roving people and th tinkers and traders and tellers of fortunes. We are the dancers in in the night and the music in the wilderness. We are the untamed ones who live only by our own rules. We own no land and no land owns us. The world is ours for the travel. And finally, uh, I don't think you ever even told us your name. You may call me Magda. That is the name I go by. With you, G Gorgio? Gorgio or something like that? With you, Gorgio. Oh, Gorgio is the world we... Uh, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgio is the world we call... Did I say world again? Yes! Gorgio is the... Word. Th thingy that I can't pronounce for some stupid reason. Gorgio is what we call anyone who is not a gypsy. There we go. How's that? It's like being called a muggle, I guess. Something like that, or or appa, or or whatever. Okay. Let's talk to uh, let's talk to uh. this this guy here. Uh, let's tell us about werewolves. We gypsies are not werewolves. We are shapeshifters. We take on the form of wolves for hunting. You can call me Davy. He too also goes. He <laughs> ends up by opening his mouth like. Rrr. Names are very important. Davy is my name to outsiders. I also have a gypsy name and a true name. True names are not given lightly. Okay, tell us about true name. Gypsies never ask others for their names. Never say your true name. Never speak the true name of another. To say another's true name aloud gives you power over him. If you are more powerful. Otherwise, it gives him power over you. Mm-hmm. Okay. If you say so, Davy. Uh, tell us about gypsies. We are roving traders. Our helmets are wagon and campfire. We would have left this valley long ago if the flooding had not washed away the road and filled the mountain paths with swamp. 
But somehow, Punny Bones seem to get in without, uh, without any problems, <laughs> and... Yeah, okay. Alright, I should probably wrap up the video here. We spent a whole video talking to the gypsies, and we'll probably spend some of the next video doing it as well. Uh, probably most of the next videos, so... Alright everyone, we're signing off for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.